long before I brought the soup. So I don't want them to hear nothing. She got to eat good yesterday. Leave me and my soup alone. But um, like I was saying, so what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah, so this is my quieter location, you know, I don't gotta worry about customers, like, I don't gotta. One But yeah, like I was saying, so, I mean, the only thing I really got to do at this location, it's an older people building. So I just got to pretty much watch people going in and out. Like if they're visiting, sign them in and out, stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty much a sit around and wait, kill the time. I do got to do like small light work. Like let's say if the elevator breaks down, then I got to make calls for that. If something happens in people units and they need help with that, then I need to call help them with that. But I mean, this is light work. You guys want to see how bad it's raining outside? I'll show you in a sec, not right now. Just give me a few minutes and I'll show you how it is outside. But yeah, just to talk to you guys a little bit more about my week. I had a pretty crazy week, you know, working. Like I had one lady come in and she started looking at me and everything and was like, oh, y'all are working here and stuff, making all this money and everything, doing all good. And we don't understand what it's like to struggle and what she's going through and all this other sort of stuff. And I'm like, ma'am, I live in a shelter, a homeless shelter. I'm still trying to get into her place. At least you have the benefit to try to save your place right now, you know? I'm trying to get into a place. You can't go around judging every book by its cover, you know? Just because you see somebody dressing a certain way and looking a certain way, that don't mean they got their whole life figured out and everything is going good for them, you know? Like some people might got it harder than you do. You never know. But that lady, she was so insistent that everybody had it so much better at her. And we were just being assholes and nobody wanted to help her and nothing. And I'm like, why? Why, why is it when people don't get the answers they're looking for, then they take their anger out on other people around them? Like, what? number one, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? Honestly, besides me doing my job, what did I do to you? You know? And honestly, I felt the lady's pain, you know? Because if I was in her shoes, then I probably 
would be upset too, not being able to get into the facility and take care of my business the day I needed to take care of my business. You know, if I had somebody stopping me at the door and telling me that I can't get in here without doing this or doing that, and I know I really need to get into this building so I could take care of what I gotta take care of, I'd be upset. Yeah, well, I got to eat grilled cheese. So haha, ha, I win on the struggle battle. <laughs> Okay. Yes, you win that one, buddy. But yeah. And it's not the first time that I had that while I've been working as a security guard. You know, like I've worked other companies before as a security guard. And like people will just lash out on us because they think we're doing so good. And it's like, guys, they buy us our uniform. We don't just dress up every day. This good. They buy us our uniform. We're wearing the uniform that's given to us. <laughs> like, we look this good because the company paid for us to look this good, you know? The company made sure that they invested in getting all of the uniform for everybody to look that good when we're out there in our uniform doing our jobs. Is being a security guard scary? I mean, it can be a scary situation because you just never know what's going through that other person's mind, what that person is going through. You never know if they're carrying something, you know? Like, I had situations where we had to call the cops just to get certain people out of the building, you know? And I mean, like, a lot could happen. I've never really seen anything too, too bad, but I mean, I had had a couple of cases where we had to get the cops involved and the cops had to come out and try to calm these people down, you know? And it gets bad, yo. You just never know. Like, you could, like, just simply trying to do your job and they'll take it as if you're just being an asshole. <laughs> like, and I'm like, what's wrong with people, you know? It's not worth it. Not worth it. So in the building that we have, that I'm working Monday through Friday, we have this rule. Nobody can get into the building without having an appointment. And we only make exceptions for people who are 62 or older. So when we try to tell people that, they get all upset and they wanna argue with us. Oh, I called this person and they tell me that I could just walk in and everything. And I'm like, no, it don't work like that. This is what they want us to do, and this is what I'm telling you. You got to make an appointment, and they don't want to hear that. <laughs> they don't want to hear that. They start hollering, screaming, arguing with us, wanting to fight, ready to knock somebody out. Talk about, let me speak to your supervisor. Happy New Year's to your family. Thank you. I'm just talking, y'all, like... I'm bored. Every Saturday and Sunday, I just sit here for eight hours. Here, take it. Take it. You can't take it? Fine, I'll eat it for you. Till midnight, my husband worked for Children's Hospital Security Officer, and he says it gets crazy. Yeah, it gets crazy. I'm snacking it. I'm snatching it. <laughs> Gotta be quicker than that. Yeah, it gets crazy. Believe him. Don't doubt him one bit. When I say security jobs get crazy, it gets crazy. And it sucks because legally we can't physically put our hands on people like that without it being like a very valid reason. So it's like, there's just some people we just want to be like, yo, I just want to punch you in your face, shut you up and get it over it. But I can't do that. I can't do it. Hey, Candy, how you doing? Thank you, Kimberly. How's the weather? It's actually pretty crazy. I'm getting ready here in a little bit to step outside with you guys and show you the weather. What if they put them on you? I mean, 
we have the right to defend ourselves, yes, but I mean, like, let's say somebody was to swing at me, I have the right to move out of the way and try not to get hit. But as far as I understand, I do not have the right to provoke the situation and hit them back. I could possibly try to detain them, you know, but I can't physically hit them back and get into a physical altercation with them, you know, but I do have the right to defend myself by any means necessary. So if it does come to a case where I have to hit somebody to get them off of me, then it has to be like, a powerful hit <laughs> it has to be a one-time powerful hit that counts and that's it it got to be a one-time hit get them off of me and that's it but i can't obsessively like as a security guard we can't obsessively like physically get into a phone throw fight with somebody because then we could possibly lose our security license and everything for it you got to be real careful that's why they taught you security is not for everybody. Because not, 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 not everybody knows how to maintain their composure. Not everybody knows how to handle situations without getting into physical altercation. You welcome, White Phoenix. I mean, don't take my word for it 100%. Some companies might be the same. Might not always be the same. Some countries might be a little bit different. I don't know. But from what I understand, we're not allowed to just go foam blow kamikaze on somebody. Like me personally, how's your sister doing? The one that used to go live with Alexis? I love her energy. She's doing all right. She just got her own place not so long ago. That's where we did the baby's birthday party. And she's working on getting some furniture in her house right now, but she just got her own place. I want to say a couple of months ago. I didn't even know you were gone, girl. Where'd you go? Felt like you was here the whole time. Don't laugh at me, I'm serious. Oh, okay, gotta bring her alive again. Someday. Someday for sure. Hey, Selena. Selena, could you believe I had to pay a dollar for this little ass bottle of soda when I could have gotten way more for that dollar? Like, I'm trying so hard to not make a big deal out of it, but I want to make a big deal out of it. I want to go to court for this shit. I feel like it was a complete violation to my entire existence. That dollar was worth more than this. But we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> yes, I was robbed. <laughs> I want my money back now. Moderator deleted a keyword. Why are you deleting keywords? All right, guys, let's go see the weather outside real fast, just for a quick sec. I just gotta make sure I got my key to get back inside. Oh yeah, guys, I got my own building key. Cause you can clearly see, oh, you clearly can't see my comments. Mm. Yeah, you gotta remember, even with you having filter comments turned off, there's still certain things TikTok won't allow you to say, so it's still gonna filter your comments regardless. Because TikTok itself won't allow you to say certain things. 
but I have filtered comments turned off already, so. I don't really care less what people gotta say. Did I make sure I have my key ready? Hey, boss. Visiting? Yeah. What? Huh? Are you visiting? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. You live here? You live here? I'm a phone grandma. Grandma? Yeah, it's for age. Age? You go to the room. I, I, I don't understand. I'm going to the 20 minutes ago. Okay, I just need you to sign in right here. Put your name, first and last name, and everything, and they'll probably let you going up to, all right? And the time that you got here. It's weird. Huh? Me? Yeah, on the next line right there. Uh, I just don't recognize you. All right. Oh, put your time in. Why do you keep it? Your time in and the signature. I cannot take because I tell you open the door. Oh, you live here? Yeah. That's what I asked you the first time. You could have just said, yeah, no, you live here. I'm saying you, I go to the 20 minutes ago. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right, all right, you're good, you're good. My yes, bad, my I'm bad. All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure you know, because I know they've been complaining. A lot of people were coming in and out. Yes, I'm going to with you. All right. Please, I will tell right. you open, please. Okay, all right. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, I do work in a um, residential building with a lot of older people. And like they were coming to me and complaining about how the last company that was working with them didn't really stay on top of people who were coming in and out and stuff like that. And then a lot of young people were going in and smoking in the staircase and stuff like that. So I try to stay on top of stuff like that, you know? Who aren't supposed to be in the building, out of the building. Sign in and out, or at least give people a call, let them know that they're going to be stuff like that. But yeah, guys, this is the weather out here today. Just so we can get a quick glance of it. It's not too, too bad. As you can see, it's clearly not snowing like everyone thought it would be. It surely is cold, though. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it. Oh man. Whew, I need to put you guys in my pocket real fast. So, some of the craziest things that happened to me working as a security guard so far, obviously the attitudes and people not understanding me just doing my job. So yeah, we do get a lot of like people who like wanna argue and fight and stuff like that, you know, and you gotta defuse those situations. And one of my biggest struggles as a security guard is working in facilities like all right this building right here we got a lot of russian people who live here so they'll come to me and they start talking to me in russian and i'm just looking at them like i don't understand russian i don't speak russian i speak clear fluid english <laughs> and they're just yapping away to me in russian and i'm just like cool okay you know but we get a lot of russian people spanish people chinese people 
Russian, Spanish, and Chinese. Good night, good night. Safe travels. Thank you. All right. And it's funny to me because it's like, I want to be able to understand these people. And sometimes I wish like they'll take the time out and teach me a few words and stuff like that. Cause just imagine, just imagine me being a security guard speaking Russian. Hey, American, come here now. <laughs> That'd be cool though. Like Russians, they got a cool accent. I like it. You know, I, I, I would like to speak Russian one day. I would love to speak Russian one day. But we do with a lot of Russian people, a lot of Spanish people, and a lot of Chinese people here in New York as a security guard in the positions that I work in anyways. Them grilled cheeses must be mighty good. So yeah, guys, how's everybody's day go so far? All 34 people sitting here and watching. Oh yeah, I did make a video 